My name is Jay Kodish, 24 years old, from Miami, Florida. I love being from Miami because it's such a beautiful city that's so vibrant with color and life. At the same time, it's so laid back and relaxing and you get, it's just all about having fun and it's just a beautiful city to be able to go home to. When I booked the Taylor Swift tour, I, I, I wasn't surprised. That day, I knew it was my time. Like, I, I walked in there and I was like, I just remember thinking, like, nothing's gonna stop me today. I'm, I'm going in here and I'm ready. And the reason why I wasn't surprised was because I've always, when, I'm, when nothing's going on, I work at, you work at yourself to be super prepared for that opportunity to come. So when the opportunity does come, you're ready and prepared. And so I was, I felt so prepared that day and I never, I never danced harder than that day, I think. There's a lot of people that inspire me artistically. Um, as far as dance, the first person to really inspire me was Philip Chabib um, with his creativity of the angles that he makes and the shapes that he makes with his body to just the connections between movement is just unreal. And then also Kyle Hanagami uh, influences me a lot with using all the space that you can with your body and using 100% of your body, but not, not meaning where it's like full out 100%, but knowing how to use your body to its fullest potential basically. And, and performing, performance quality, I, I get a lot from Kyle too. Started dancing initially because I was bullied when I was younger. And for some reason, I, I liked dancing. I could move like, my body for some reason. It was just a natural thing. And uh, I was at a, my first party that I ever got invited to when I was in fifth grade. And they were like, $100 for the best dancer. And I was like, okay, like $100, let's go. And I, I just went and my mom was there. And she saw that it gave me confidence because I was so low on confidence at the time. She saw that and put me in dance classes and I realized that A, no one, none of those kids that bully me are at this place and B, there's so many pretty girls and they don't know that I'm a loser. So like, I love this and, and I like that I get to move and it feels good. And so I just stuck with it and I fell in love with it. Being on tour with Taylor Swift was just magical. Being able to travel the world, see thousands of people just enjoying their night, just living in the moment with you, it's beautiful. Just to see all the lights everywhere and just go and, and look at the world, get to experience what it's like to be Taylor Swift. It's pretty cool. I have three favorite places, which are Vancouver, Ireland, and Barcelona. Those places I just had really, really good experiences with um, the people, the, the culture, and what I was doing. And especially Ireland. Me and my friend Mason Cutler rented a car and, and while we were on our break, we had a week break after we performed there, and we just road tripped throughout Ireland without any plans and we just had the time of our lives and just went with the flow. It was the coolest thing ever. I have the most supportive family and friends. I like If it wasn't for my mom, for encouraging me to be a dancer, I wouldn't be a dancer. If it wasn't for my dad being able to support me when I have no money, then I wouldn't be able to live in LA. If it wasn't for my brother and my sister influencing me, I wouldn't be who I was now. To be a great dancer and freestyler, it takes a lot of not just training your body, it's, it's a lot of mental stuff, like to be able to be in a room and block everything out and not think about the choreography, but still thinking about the choreography and, or how to freestyle and it's just letting it go, but also being present at the same time. It's a very interesting state of mind that it, you have to find. I found it just listening to music and I remember my body was just moving and it was, and I didn't, I wasn't even thinking about moving. It was just reacting to the music. And once I felt that, I was like, this is the state of mind I need to be in. It's more scary to me when your peers are watching than 
when you're on stage in front of people you don't know or really care about. What up guys, Jay Kodish, you're watching the Beast Network.